my name is Katie. Welcome to my fluid art channel. Uh, I've taken a few days off. Uh, with, if you saw my last video, you saw me do multiple wandering straight pour, jiggle pour. I'm not happy with the composition. I, I, I love the colors. There's pearl and gold. Uh, today, I'm going to do something totally different on this. I'm going to repurpose this canvas. You can probably see why I did this a long time ago. Um, what I want to do is a puddle pour. I want to swipe through it. And then I want to wreck it. Maybe with a marble. Let me tell you about my colors. I have a turquoise blue by Amsterdam. I have a Windsor Violet by Windsor Newton. All my paints are mixed one part paint to two parts Floetrol. And for this pour, if you make a trace on top of your paint, it lasts about three seconds. That one might have got a little thick. Your paints will thicken up as they sit around. So you want to always check your consistency. All right. This is a little bit of this and a little bit of that. It's some uh, primary yellow by Amsterdam and some pyro red. Get this pretty red orange color. Then I have a primary yellow by Amsterdam. I have a gold, which is a mix of golds. There's 24K in there and uh, some Windsor Newton gold, I believe. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that. Then I have a titanium white. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that either, but I may. Gloves on. I think I'm going to start with the turquoise blue and go in the order I introduced them the violet, the red, orange, the yellow. And then I might just put a little bit of gold around. I'm not sure if I'm going to puddle it. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to come back with some more of that color. Violet. Those two colors are always beautiful together.
That's my Lucy girl. It's been a long time since I've done a marble wreck. Okay, I think I will add, let's see, so I don't know because I'm going to swipe with white. Now let's start with the turquoise again. I put some yellow on top of here. I might get some green. Which I don't think I have a problem with. We'll see. I'm not exactly sure where where I'm swiping, so. Let's put the red orange on here. And then I think I'll put a violet on top of that. Well, that's kind of pretty all on its own. All right. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be bright enough if I swipe through that with white. Let's do a little gold.
Got lots of bubbles. I just mix this paint. So we're going to forego the white. Let's see what happens. All right, I have an Amsterdam titanium white with Australian flow trial. It's mixed uh, three, one part paint to three parts flow trial. Now, I don't know if that's gonna make lacing too big. I think I'm gonna try one big one. I'm just coating the back of my palette knife. Just barely touch it. Cool. that again. I got some cool cells over here where I uh, wiped my palette knife off. I think I'll go through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the gold is pretty. Yeah, I'm glad I put the gold in there. I see all of our colors. I give yourselves a little, little time to develop. Hmm. 
I'm wondering if I should wreck it with the marble. The lacing is really pretty. All right, there we go. We're gonna start right here. Now you've gotta watch your whole canvas because as you tilt, That's pretty. You know, I think that's enough. I like this line right here. I really like this line. Yeah. Cool. You can't quite get those lines wrecking it with the stick. They're not the same. All right, now I probably have plenty of paint. I'm going to add just a little bit to the corners here. This is a deep edge canvas, so I do, do need to get over the side. Kind of reminds me of, uh, I don't know, something back in the 60s. You know, when I wasn't born yet. <laughs> All right. Let's give this a quick... One more torch, then we're going to fill it. I don't know. Should I go through it again? I think I am. I think I'm just going to run it through here. So when we stretch it out, that center is going to get bigger. Find the way to your paint. 
I think I'm going to go to that corner there first. Ooh, dig in the colors. Let's see now. What do I like? I'm, I'm going to take it to that corner near you. side and that corner. Back to the middle. Look at it. I like about just about everything except for right there we got a little bit of green. That would be where the turquoise and the gold met. I'm going to try to take it off that side. Or at least move the paint down to that weight of the paint down to that corner. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stretch it. Well, that was fun. That's really pretty. Let's see. I'm going to give it a spin just to even everything out. And take the weight of the paint down there.
Now that's fun. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It's free. Don't forget to scrape the bottom edge of your canvas when you're done painting. I'm gonna get all the drips off. Let me see here. I really would like to pull this turquoise in a little more. I'll see what the weight of the paint is. I'll get my corners when we're done here. I'm going to take my gloves off and bring you down for a closer look. And give it a torch here. I'm coming to get the camera. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. I think it's lacing right here. You can see every color underneath. And these lines. Yeah, I love that color combination. I think the composition, I almost see a flower, but let's see. Yeah, I think that's the composition or the orientation, sorry. Look at that little group of cells right there. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe this way, I think. Yeah, I like that. I was worried about getting mud, but it doesn't look like we got mud. The gold is pretty. I'll show you the dry results in my next video. Don't forget to ring the little bell and they'll notify you next time I upload. Thank you. Bye.